There are a number of components needed for the assembly of the Protean II multicasting chamber. Acrylic blocks of different thicknesses to fill the chamber when casting less than 12 gels. Separation sheets to separate the gel sandwiches from each other. Twenty centimeter by twenty two point three centimeter tall glass plates and twenty centimeter by twenty centimeter short glass plates. Narrow spacers and Protean two XL alignment cards. Set the casting chamber face up on the bench top. Loosen the thumb screws and remove the sealing plate. Determine the number of gels you will be casting. If you are casting less than 12 gels, use acrylic blocks to fill the space in the chamber. We will be casting four gels here. Start by placing acrylic blocks into the chamber so that it seats at the bottom. Before placing your first Protean 2 XL glass plate into the chamber, Place a separation sheet on top of the acrylic block. Place a long outer plate on top of the separation sheet. Put one set of narrow spacers on the first glass plate so that they are seated firmly against the side walls and lower corners of the chamber. Insert an alignment card between the spacers. Place a short inner plate on top of the spacers. Place a separation sheet on top of the short plate. Continue to place pieces in the same order. Long outer plate, spacers, alignment card, short inner plate, and separation sheet. Take up the remaining space in the multicasting chamber with acrylic blocks and separation sheet so that the sandwiches will be held firmly in position when the sealing plate is in place. To ensure a good seal, the entire stack should be made as flush as possible to the front of the chamber and not extend beyond it. If you overfill the multicasting chamber, the sealing plate will not be able to create a good seal with the gasket. This causes the monomer solution to leak during pouring and glass plates within the stack may break. Check that the gasket is firmly in the notch in the multicasting chamber body. Guide the sealing plate into place, being careful not to disturb the stack. The inlet port should match the groove at the bottom of the chamber. Be careful not to block the inlet port with a separation sheet. Gradually tighten the screws in a random fashion until the plate is tight. You are now ready to cast your gels. Use the same casting procedure for single percentage and gradient gels as you would for the Protean Plus multicasting chamber.